How to GPU mine Pascal coin with NVIDIA GPUs. Here on Crypto Compare, we can see that Pascal coin has been going crazy. You can see the 24 hour volume is 25,000 BTC, an incredible increase compared to the video I made earlier with the AMD miner. Here we can see the price chart for the last 24 hours. You can see just how crazy it's gotten. If we take a look at the one week price chart, we can see that it was worth practically nothing just days ago. And once it hit Poloniex, it just skyrocketed. You can see it's created a mountain on this chart. So before I show you this NVIDIA Pascal coin miner, I do want to warn you that it does produce errors. All versions of the NVIDIA miner do produce this error, so I'm not quite sure if it will really find valid blocks or not. Some people have said in the past that they have found valid blocks with the NVIDIA miner, so you can try it and see if it does work for you. But if it doesn't work for you, please don't get upset that I wasted your energy. In the end, I'll show you the error that it does create. So keep that in mind if you do choose to use this miner. It may work well, it may not work well. I'm really not sure myself. Here you can see I have my Pascal coin wallet open. It's synchronized. Here you can see my Pascal coin wallet files and files that I've downloaded, including the 1.03 and 1.04 miner. If I go into the 1.04 miner, you can see there's two files. If I go into the 1.03 miner folder, you can see there are a lot more files. Specifically, there's CUDA RT32 underscore 80 and 64 underscore 80 dot DLL files. These are missing from the 1.04 edition. So you may want to copy those over from 1.03. What I did is I just installed CUDA 8 from NVIDIA and this got the miner working. Otherwise, you will get an error saying that that DLL is missing. So I'll go into my 1.04 folder here and I'm going to copy these two miner files into my wallet folder. This just makes it easier for me. You can launch the miner from anywhere. I'm going to double click on the Pascal proxy version 2. That'll launch the proxy. It's going to ask me for a desired host. So I'm going to type in 127.0.0.1. Hit enter. It's going to ask me for a desired port, so I'm going to type in 4009 and hit enter. It'll ask me for the number of GPUs to support. I'm using three, so I'm going to type in three and hit enter. It then asks me for a miner name prefix. Here I'm going to go to my wallet, then go to project and options, and under miner name, I'm going to type in a miner name, NVIDIA 98. Then I'll click on OK. I'll go back to project and then private keys. I'm going to generate a new key. This wallet has a password already, so I'm going to type in my password here. And I'm going to rename this key to NVIDIA 98 again. And I'm going to select the first key type, 256, and then hit OK. That'll create a new key that I can use for my miner. So I'll close this. And I'll go back to project, back to options, and I can select always mine with this key. Scroll down, find my NVIDIA 98. That matches up with my miner name. And I'm going to click on save log and show log so that I can show you the error later on. Now I'm going to type in NVIDIA 98 for my miner name prefix and hit enter. This starts the proxy so that I can launch my miner. In the wallet, you can see miner clients, one connected. Now I'll go back to my wallet folder and I'm going to launch the miner. So first I'm going to create a batch file. I'm going to create a new document. I'll rename that document, start miner one. And open that. I'm going to type in my launch command here, which is going to be pascalcoin-cuda.exe space p0 space d0 space i23 space c50. I stands for the intensity level. You can use any level up to 23. And C stands for the cycle size, which is probably best left at 50. You don't have to have I or C variables in the command line to launch the miner. It will probably work without those. It works fine for me if I don't use the I and C. But in this example, I'll just include them. So I'm going to go to save as, add a .bat to the end of my file name, change save as type to all files, and then click save. Now I'm going to need to create one for each miner. So for the second one, I'm going to change D0 to D1. And again, go to Save As, change it to number 2, add a .bat, all files, and save it. And I'll do it one more time for my third GPU. I'll change it to D2. 
Go to Save As. Change the miner name to StartMiner3.bat. Save type, all files, and save it. I'll delete the text file that I created, and then I'll click on the first one to start the first GPU. Now I'll click on the second one and start the second GPU. And then I'll click on the third one to start the third GPU. Now they're mining. You can see that they're starting to find shares. Every time you see the hash rate shown in the miner, that's when it's found a share. So you can see in the proxy, GPU0 submitted a share, GPU1 submitted a share, GPU0 submitted a share, GPU2 submitted a share. These are 980 TIs, and you can see that I'm getting about 760 on each one. So everything looks good from the outside. Everything looks like it's working well. But if you go to the log in the wallet, you'll see an error. It says, error proof of work is higher than target payload. And this is a problem. Everyone seems to be having this problem. I'm actually not sure if it is a problem or not, because I have not found a block using this miner. So if you want to try this miner, try it. It might work. This error might be an error of an error, or it might be a real error and actually showing a problem. So if you find a block, that's awesome. But if you end up just wasting electricity, don't come back to me and say, I didn't tell you so. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to launch the miner so it's working on a wallet on a different computer. So I'll launch the proxy, and here I'm going to type in the IP address, the router IP of my computer with my wallet on it, which is 192.168.8.11. I'll hit enter. For my desired port, 4009, hit enter. GPUs to support, 3, hit enter. Miner name prefix, crypto MI, hit enter. And then I'll go through each batch file and start each miner, start each GPU one by one. Now all three of my GPUs are started. They're all mining and they're all connected to the same wallet that my AMD rigs are connected to. Just like I showed you in my previous video using AMD GPUs to mine Pascal coin. So I hope you liked the video. I hope it helped and thanks for watching.